stand up. There is no one like you. Ale, 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 hallelujah. It is my privilege to welcome you again. This is Voice of Salvation coming to you. My name is Venerable Prince Chukuma, popularly known as Papa Omo Boy. What we do in Voice of Salvation is to present to you the simple gospel. The truth is that gospel is simple. In its simplicity, we want to present it to you as Holy Spirit helps us today. You are welcome on board. Join me to Matthew chapter 8. I am excited. There is something I want to show you from the word of God. Gather friends, gather anyone you can, tag people. Make sure as many as possible we view this message. I am excited in the spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 8, pay attention. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. <laughs> then Jesus put out his hand and touched him. Saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. Glory to Jesus. My dear, pay attention. God has something special for you today. The Bible says that when Jesus came down from the mountain, I don't want to speak about the mountain or what happened in the past. But let's start from here now. Now, when he came down from the mountain, the first person, the very first person that came to him was a leper. Let's start from this point. Who is a leper? Did you hear the leper talking about, you can make me clean? Which means leprosy makes a man unclean. Leprosy makes a person unclean. In the physical leprosy we are talking about here, in the then Israel, when you are a leper, you will be put out of the city. You will not communicate with people. You will not relate with people. Even your loved ones, even your family, even your children, even your wife, your husband, you are not permitted to relate with people. Why? Leprosy is a communicable disease. It can affect other people. So you must be put out of the city. Now, there is what is called spiritual leprosy. What does spiritual leprosy do? It takes people outside God's presence. Spiritual leprosy, the original name for spiritual leprosy is sin. Know it well that any man who is not saved, any man who is not born again, any man who has not received Jesus is having spiritual leprosy. Why? He is outside God's city. Such a person is outside God's family. Just as in the then Israel, every leper is put outside the city. You don't relate with people. You don't associate with people. Why? It's a communicable disease. People, they don't want people to be affected with your leprosy. But I want to show you something. Ah, thank you, Jesus. He loves us so much. He loves us so much. Do you know that when Jesus came down from the mountain, a leper who did not have access to his fellow Israelites, he had access to Jesus. Hey! No, you didn't hear that. 
a leper who was put out of city, a leper ordinarily that should not relate with people. Nobody wants to be close with him. Do you know that such a person, everybody is avoiding, he, even his beloved wife, even his beloved children are avoiding him. Such a person had access to Jesus because the Bible says he came to Jesus. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. What a love. Brother, that is my message for you. I know you have spiritual leprosy. You are not yet born again. In one day, you are feeling decay. Even as a result of your spiritual leprosy, as a result of your sin, as a result of your iniquity, it's like people are avoiding you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. But I have good news for you. You can have access to Jesus. Every other person may avoid a leper, not Jesus. Every other person may avoid an adulterer, not Jesus. Every other person may avoid that man who has been killing people with juju, who has been who is deep into occultism. Everybody is avoiding him, not Jesus. My dear, you can have access to Jesus. Jesus is available. The Bible says, and the leper came to him. Not just that he came to him, he was talking with Jesus. Hey, this Jesus is full of love. Hey, thank you, Jesus. This Jesus is full of love. Not only that he had access to Jesus, he was talking to him. And Jesus was replying. Jesus was answering him. Do you know you can come to Jesus today? There is an access. I want to give, show you what gave you that access. It is called the cross of Calvary. The cross of Calvary gave every man access to Jesus. The cross of Calvary was where Jesus was crucified for our sins. Cross of Calvary was where Jesus manifested a love no other man has ever manifested. What was that love? The Bible says, what kind of love is this that a man will give his life because of his people? The leper had access to Jesus. You can. Even today, as I am talking, I will give you privilege to approach that your Savior. His name is Savior. Let me remind you again. Remind you once again, Jesus specializes in one thing. What is that? Saving people. There is one thing Jesus knows how to do very well. That is to save sinners. To save people. When the leper came to him, the leper made two powerful assertions. Number one, if you are willing. Number two, you can make me whole. From here, I'll be praying with you. The leper said to him, when he made his way to Jesus, when every other one was like, ah, look at Jesus. Jesus, you are talking with a sinner. Jesus, look at the leper. Jesus, are you not aware? That man, that man is a leper. <laughs> Just like, the Bible says that the day he was talking with a, an adulterous woman, a prostitute, the woman was washing, washing his leg with her tears, wiping his legs with her hair. Those at the table were like, if this man is actually a son of God, he would have known that this woman is a prostitute. He would have known that this woman is an adulterer. This woman is a killer. This man is an occultic man. This man is a homosexual. This man does masturbation. You would have known this. Why should I allow a homosexual to come close to him? Well, Jesus was like, this is why I came. Look at the leper. Having access to him again. Okay. And the leper said, if you are willing... You can make me whole. This is where I want to pray with you from. Most of us, 
you are aware that Jesus can save you. That man was not in doubt if Jesus can make him clean. That leper was never doubting the ability of Jesus to make him clean. He was doubting one thing, the willingness of Jesus. That was why he said, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Whether you can make me clean is not under dispute. What I am not sure of is a leper like me. Will you be willing to make me clean? A killer like me, a homosexual like me, an adulterer like me, will this Jesus be willing to make me clean? Will he be willing to receive me? Will he be willing to wash me? Will he be willing to associate with me? Will he be willing to receive me? This is what the man was not sure of. But he was sure of his ability. He said, once you are willing, I am sure you can, you can make me whole. You have what it takes to wash me clean. But I don't know if you will still accept me. I want to read the words of Jesus to you. Go back to Matthew chapter 8. Let me start from verse 1 again. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitude followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him. A leper came to him. Don't forget, you have access. He came to him. He worshipped him. And he said to him, Lord, if you are willing, this is where I'm not sure of, but if you are willing, you can make me clean. Hear the words of Jesus. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. Ay, 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 ay. I am willing. Can you hear Jesus again? Jesus is saying to somebody watching me right now, I am willing to save you. Glory to Jesus. Can you hear Jesus? I am willing to save you. I've seen your struggles. I've seen how much you try to please God. I've seen how much you try not to commit that sin again. The sin will still beat you down until I save you. I am the Savior, says Jesus. I can save you from your sin. Not just that I have the ability to save you. I am also willing to save you. Imam Machuku. Ono apu ikoya Iuna nyaya Obaroba ni mendum Aya! Udon konyere O apu inyaya O kwe siro tuto Hallelujah Hmm the leper was not in doubt of his ability to save. But he has looked at himself. I am a rejected leper. Will he be willing? Men may not be willing, but Jesus is willing. People might have rejected you. You yourself might have also rejected yourself. When you look at your iniquity, when you look at your mess up, how will Jesus be willing to clean my mess up? And Jesus said, I am willing. What was the next statement? Be made clean. Do you know that before Jesus, Jesus was trying to show that man how willing he was. Jesus was trying to show the leper how ready he was to save him. Do you know the first thing Jesus did? The Bible says Jesus stretched forth his hand and touched him. Excuse me. Touch who? A leper. A communicable disease. Jesus touched him in his leprosy state. He touched him. Hey! A leper, everybody was avoiding. Jesus was touching. 
when Jesus touched him, he was still a leper. He touched him in his leprosy state. He says, anyone that come to me, in no wise will I cast away. That man did one thing Jesus cannot neglect. Do you know what it was? To come to Jesus. That was his only duty. To come to Jesus. Will you come? That is your only duty as you are watching this broadcast. I know you are a leper. You have spiritual leprosy. You have been, even been rejected by your family because of your atrocities. Jesus will not reject you. He touched him. Not only that he touched him in his leprosy state, he said, I am willing. Hi. That statement is making me to fly. Jesus is looking at a sinner, saying, I am willing to save you. Will you come? Will you come? He touched him and said, I am willing to be made clean. The Bible says, immediately, immediately, not tomorrow, he was made clean. Do you know that Jesus wants to save you now, not tomorrow? Now. I mean now. He wants to save I mean now, not tomorrow. He wants to save you. Will you come? Your only duty is to come. It was that leper that came to him. He has come, died, rose again, glorified, spread his hand, saying, now you can come. I am willing to save you. Despite the degree of your leprosy, Jesus is ready to touch you. He's ready to hug you. Do you remember the father of the prodigal son? When the prodigal son returned in his dirty attire, the father hugged him. The father kissed him before he now asked them to go and change his clothes. He hugged him. Love could not allow him to notice that the young man was smelling. He hugged him. Jesus is not avoiding you. Preachers might have made it look as if Jesus is not against you. Preachers might have told you that Jesus is looking for opportunity to kill you. That God is waiting for opportunity to strike you dead. Uh -uh. He's looking for opportunity to tell you this gospel. I am willing to save you. The next question. Are you willing to be saved? The two must go. On his side, he's willing to save you. On your side, are you willing? Bianara Jesus. Onyewa yenye regi anefu. Bianara Jesus. Onyewa yenye regi ya na kuyobo. Bianara Jesus. Onyewa yenye regi ya. Hadi yogwe kuru ya. Onye regi anefu. Mwane bianara ya. Bianara Jesus. Onyewa yenye regi anefu. Bianara Jesus, onye mwa inye regi anefu. Bianara Jesus, onye mwa inye regi ya. Odi yogwe koro ya, onye regi anefu. My dear, I thought the difficult one is done. The difficult one should be, will God be willing to save you despite your sins? Will God be willing to save you despite your leprosy state? He is not just willing. He even touched you in that state. And he said, I am willing. As many that are willing to be saved, I want to pray with you. The Bible says, he was cleansed immediately. I know you have so many dirty, so many deaths inside you. You are too dirty. Dirty with immorality. Dirty with charm all over your body. You have worshipped many idols. Even your own self, you are looting your own self. You are smelling yourself. 
There are times you will not take your bed until evening, from morning till evening. By evening, you will be smelling yourself. You are feeling like, hmm, my body is smelling. You are feeling that spiritually. But do you know you are not smelling Jesus? <laughs> oh my God. What a love. What a love. What kind of love is this? Thank you for loving me too much. 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 You are smelling yourself by the abortions you have done, by lesbianism you have done, by masturbation, homosexual. You are even smelling yourself, yet you are not smelling Jesus. When Jesus was at the tomb of Lazarus, he said to them, remove the rock. Do you know it was Lazarus' sister that said to Jesus, by now he is smelling. But Jesus was not perceiving any other. People are perceiving bad odor from Lazarus because he was dead for four days. But his savior, the man that can save him from death, was not perceiving any other. Jesus is not perceiving bad order from you. I can still hear him saying, I am willing to save you. The question, are you willing? Since Jesus is willing and I am willing, when will he save me? The Bible says, immediately the young man was made clean. Now you will be made clean. Now you will be washed with his blood. Angels are getting ready the blood so that Jesus will wash you. Do you know that buckets of the blood of Jesus have been presented, ready to wash as many who will say, Jesus, save me. Who will come? The young man came. Will you come? How would I come? Just join me in this prayer. You want to be saved. You are also willing as Jesus to be saved from your spiritual leprosy. Join me to pray. Say with me, Lord Jesus, Thank you for your love. I do not love you, but you love me. It is your love that found me. It is not my love. It is what you did that saved me, not what I did. Jesus, I thank you. Thank you. I yield to you. By your spirit today, you have convicted me. By your spirit today, you have presented massive love you have for me. Oh, I thought I am helpless. I thought I was hopeless. I thought I could never be saved. Look at how simple it is. I never knew you were willing all these days. Lord Jesus, I come to you as a spiritual leper, full of sin, full of iniquity. But when you saw that man in Matthew chapter 8, in his leprosy state, you touched him. Jesus, I can feel you touching me. Shana le plakopa entilaves. Komole lieli evatopash. Thank you, Jesus. Wash away my sins. Cleanse me. Thank you, you are willing. Thank you, you are also able. You are able and you are willing. I call. Forgive my sins. I repent sincerely. Cleanse me. Fill me with your spirit. By faith, I receive salvation from Jesus. By faith, I confess that Jesus is my Savior. By faith, I confess that Jesus died for me. He rose. He was glorified. By faith, I confess I am born again. I am a child of God. I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Dear Jesus, I thank you. Dear Jesus, I thank you. He loves me. I cannot say why. He loves me. I cannot 
seu ar. Ram Calvary Tree, He suffered for me, He loves me, I cannot say why. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for your people you just saved. Immediately you have saved them. Thank you. Keep them safe. In Jesus' name.